<laughs> What's up everybody? It's Drew and TJ over at Alpha Dog Firearms, and today we're gonna to be talking about our top five AR pattern rifles. Perfect. So let's start with number five. Kicking it off with the Colt M4. This is gonna be solid first choice for a lot of people. Um, it's gonna be pretty mil spec all around, really classic design. Uh, you know, integrated front sight post in the, into the gas block. Um, they come with Magpul rear flip ups. Um, pretty, pretty basic rifle, but it gets the job done. Uh, what do you think, Drew? I'd, so one thing is when I started shooting, originally I did shoot on something that was completely mil spec. And if it's your first firearm, I don't know, I would say something like this was more than adequate. Um, the one issue that I do have with it is unlike all the other ones that we're gonna be talking about, there is no M lock or Picatinny sections up right. here. That's something that you would have to modify yourself. I mean, also what you could do is, it, it is a great point, uh, great place to start off because you can always swap out the handguard for like a Magpul or something like that. Swap out the pistol grip, the stock, all that kind of stuff and you know, personalize it a little bit, make it more comfortable for, your, for you. So uh, yeah, overall I, it's a pretty good, pretty good starting point, I think, I mean. Yeah, and I think that's the good thing, especially with these base level ARs is you can just build off of all of them. You, like you said, you can put that Magpul foregrip on here. Um, and honestly, that does help out. We did have one in our stacker machine for a while um, with camouflaged everything. <laughs> that was awesome. That was fun. Um, Didn't stay in there for too long. We had a lot of people going for that one. Oh yeah. Let's do Daniel Defense. Yeah. Number four right here. Sounds pretty good. So ddm 4 a one I love that thing. This, it's just, it's lightweight. Even with this EOTech optic right here and the magnifier. And the quad rail. And the quad rail. This thing is still significantly less weight than even my AR. Um, and it just feels good looking through it, especially with this EOTech, it just looks amazing. Right. Um, it's the, I mean, it's kind of like one of the perfect, uh, you know, rugged duty rifles, if you will, especially with the optic setup, quad rail, it's gonna be very durable. It is a 14 and a half inch barrel with a uh, pin and welded muzzle device. So uh, it does meet that 60 inch uh, minimum barrel requirement. And honestly, the Daniel Defense furniture is really solid too. They make kits uh, where you can just buy this stuff and put it on your own rifle as well. But I mean, out of the box, this is a really good rifle that you can start off with. Um, and it's got that Daniel Defense name behind it as well. So you can't really go wrong either. Yeah. Another cool thing that I like about these rifles is they do have a little bit of a flared magwell at the bottom. So it does have this flared magwell. Yeah. So if you did just want to get that magazine in there and you're going at a little bit of an angle, it will help push it in. That's something I do like. And just the oversized controls on it. So the bolt release, is if I can lock that back. I don't know. It's pretty decently sized, so I like that. It's almost like the Mariner bolt release. Yeah, it's got a nice, nice large ping pong paddle. Yeah, and um, especially with this charging handle. One thing oh, yeah, that it does have that the Colt doesn't have is it's ambi. So you can pull down on either side Throw of this it. Over really quick. Shoo! You can pull it down on either side of it, and it will still release. Which ones like the Colt and the one on my rifle do not have. Yep. Just standard, I guess, mil spec if you will, charging handle with just the latch on the one side. So, not as you know, not Gucci. as forgiving as that one. Yeah. But. And it does have the ambi safety right here, um, and it does have a mil spec trigger. I think. I think what comes in like six yeah. and a half, seven pounds. Something like that. It feels good too. It's really crisp. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I. Pretty solid. Number three, Patriot Ordnance Factory, and this is the Renegade Plus. Yeah, so I mean, this is a really solid rifle, American made, actually made here in Arizona where we're at. Um, really cool things about this rifle, um, they've got pretty much full ambi control, so anything that you need to do with this rifle as far as bolt release, uh, bolt catch, magazine, uh, magazine release, that kind of stuff, selector, all that stuff is completely ambi. Um, it's a really good platform for both lefties and righties. So yeah, along with being fully ambidextrous, uh, some of the main features of this rifle include being that it is kind of a performance tuned, um, you know, upgrade to your base model AR, such as the Colt or the Daniel Defense. These are both very rugged mil spec sorts of rifles. And this just kind of does everything that these, these other ones do, but better. And probably it's gonna last a little bit longer as well. Um, we've got a nice oversized barrel nut that helps kind of dissipate some of the heat, uh, which is one of the main points that you're gonna get a lot of heat on your barrel. Um, I mean, moving along from that, they've got their nice ambi uh, Tomahawk charging handle. It's another feature similar to that Daniel Defense. What else we got on here, Drew? So I would probably end up saying one thing that stands out with this that the Daniel Defense does not have is an adjustable gas block. Oh, that's so very true. So this has a nine position adjustable gas block. That's a lot of positions. <laughs> that's a lot of room. This Daniel Defense does not have an adjustable gas block at all. You get what you get and you don't get upset. That one, you can change nine different positions. That is 
Uh, that's, that's more than that's enough. <laughs> that's more than eight enough. more than I need. The, the whole philosophy behind these POF rifles, I feel, is that they just kind of over-engineer everything. So you don't really have any points of failure necessarily. They have uh, that, um, the roller cam pin. It's, the roller cam pin, that's right. That thing is crazy. It Most is. of these is like rectangular. That one's just a ball bearing rolled off. Pretty much, yeah. So, I mean, starting back to front with this rifle, we do have an anti-tilt buffer system in here. Kind of helps eliminate any of that extra wear. Uh, moving forward, you have a three and a half pound flat face trigger. You can't really go wrong with that. Super, super crisp. Um, nice break, nice um, reset, all that kind of stuff. Um, their E-square chamber technology is, you know, one of the best out there. It helps kind of push the casing out as it's extracting it already. Um, so you're pretty much guaranteed to cycle the rifle. Uh, I mean, moving forward from that, we also have that uh, in, uh, enlarged uh, barrel nut that kind of helps us, helps and acts as a heat sink, uh, which is really good. So kind of wrapping it up here with the POF, um, obviously we, we do have a lot of modifications to this particular one. So we changed out the stock, pistol grip, uh, you know, for, uh, foregrip, that kind of stuff. Uh, from the factory, they do come with MFT uh, furniture, which is pretty solid, but uh, for the most part, this, this rifle kind of comes with everything you need and nothing you don't besides the little modifications that can kind of help make it yours. So. Anything else you want to add to that? No, I think you summed it up pretty well with that POF right there. Cool. All right, and now moving down to our number two spot, we've got one of my favorites, the SIG MCX. The so unicorn. This, yep, so this is the Virtus Patrol. Um, this one's got the full 16 inch barrel, and one of the th cool things about this rifle is that it's a little bit different than the other three that we just showed you, being that it is a piston system versus a direct impingement. Um, so, Drew, do you have anything you want to say about this one? I mean. No, um, there's not much that I would input necessarily. You definitely know way more about these things than I do in terms of I have actually never shot a piston driven rifle. I've only ever shot the gas rifles. Okay. So this is something that's definitely on my bucket list to fire. One thing that I do like about this that these ones don't have is you can also just totally yeah. fold the stock. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so one thing that this does have that the other ones, or I guess lack thereof would be a buffer tube. So there yep. is nothing going back and forth back here. It is just this piece of metal that your stock can move on and it will take any mil spec stocks or right. military yeah. cut stock. And you can also shoot it while it's folded as well. Um, that's not gonna be a huge thing for most people, but the fact that you can do it, that's always a plus. Uh, can't really go wrong with that either. Um, this one also does have an adjustable gas system. So you've got two settings. So you've got a suppressed setting as well as just the standard unsuppressed setting. So depending on what you're doing, uh, you'll be able to get plenty of gas in order to cycle this thing. Um, I really love the gray that they come that they come in, uh, at least for the Virtus Patrol model. Um, they do make some shorter models, chambered in 300 blackout, that kind of stuff. They can be a little bit shorter, come integrally suppressed, those things. But overall, this platform is a really solid um, 5.56 rifle. Uh, so should we move on to number one or? I say let's move on to number one. So number one is a little bit different. Number one is our personal rifles. So these are the ones that we built up ourselves. We picked the parts on it and it works best for us. And that's the big thing with these ARs is they are so customizable. You can make them work extremely well for whatever purpose you truly need it for. Um, does yours have a specific purpose towards it? Um, it's kind of just a do all sort of rifle. So I kind of took some of the best of all the worlds and kind of combined it into one. So um, for the most part, my rifle is gonna be pretty, pretty basic, honestly. I took a BCM upper, a 14 and a half inch with a Surefire uh, muzzle device. And uh, you know, it's a great host for suppressor. Um, EOTech, that kind of stuff, air precision lower. It's overall a fairly basic rifle, but it does exactly what I need it to do and nothing that I don't. So this is perfect for me and this is why it's my number one. So Drew, how about yours? So this is my first AR actually. Um, we got it years ago and I've just started changing out the parts on it. So started its life as a DPMS Oracle, um, completely mil spec. Honestly, it was an interesting looking gun. It had- a, Still is. It's, it still is, this is the Franken gun. Uh, but it started off kind of like the Colt right here. Mil spec is what they called it for most of their parts. I will question a few of those things, a few of those statements from DPMS. But I did change out most everything that I didn't like in this DPMS. So it now has a blackout trigger. It is the zero. And so this thing, just three pounds. And it's just, it's so smooth. That's one thing I do like about this is I like shooting fast. I did also recently change out this handguard because I do like to C-clamp it more than anything else. And everybody else in the shop saw my handguard beforehand and I was bullied relentlessly for it. And so you had like a four inch handguard. I had a, I had a nine inch handguard on a 16 inch barrel. 
Um, and it that that matched the the curtains matched the drapes with this. It was the exact same color. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was interesting. You butchered that analogy. Yeah. <laughs> His carpet matched the drapes. So in terms of purpose for my rifle, I'd say I'm not necessarily a run and gun kind of person. I do like running drills, having fun at the range, and this does fit all of those needs for me. Um, I don't have a crazy muzzle brake at the end of it. It's just a normal A2 flash hider. Um, and there's some things that just aren't oversized, like my bolt release right here. My mag release is, because I like doing, just, like reloads as quick as I can. That's always fun. Right. Um, I did change out some other parts in the lower in terms of this POF safety right here, which is ambi, and that's because I like using my index finger to throw out my um, safety lever rather than trying to mess around with my thumb. It's just more streamlined like that. So I tried making it as streamlined as possible for me. Right. What about you, TJ? Well, I mean, like I said, so moving into mine, I've got a BCM 14 and a half inch upper. I really love this thing. It's got a mid-length gas system, very soft shooting, uh, which is one of the main things I love about it. Um, BCM's um, auto-rated bolt, which is always nice. Uh, Noveski charging handle, I just really like the feel of this thing. Um, Magpul STR stock, really nice wide cheek uh, uh, cheek comb, kind of to get right up into your into your cheekbone, or at least mine, just because that's how I prefer it. Um, and then I also have a POF trigger in mine as well. So this is a three and a half pound uh, POF trigger. And I just really love the way it feels. It shoots really nice. I can shoot it pretty fast and it's just really what works best for me. Um, and then of course I have the EOTech up there. So this is the uh, XPS 2-0, which is kind of the one of the more base model e uh, EOTechs. Um, and overall, I, like I said, I just really love this thing. Um, really the whole point of the, the number ones being our personal rifles is just because it's what suits our needs and what suits our purposes, and which is kind of what you should probably do too, is just find something that suits your needs, does exactly what you need it to do. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go with what everybody else is doing or go with what we're doing. Um, but yeah, just find something that works best for you. Yeah, one thing that a lot of the guys, especially in the shop, are really into is EOTex, which TJ is on board the EOTech the World I have EOTech group. EOTech on all of my guns. I mean, we've got an EOTech on that Daniel Defense right there. Um, we love EOTechs. Personally, I didn't hop on the bandwagon. I went with a Hollow Sun. This just does everything that I need it to do. Um, Which is the point, yeah. And that's exactly what it is. I shoot out in the desert a lot, and I shoot for like pretty extended periods of time. I'm usually out there for about eight hours when I do go shooting. So one thing that I do like is having that solar panel right there so it can trickle charge while I'm out there, even though it does have, I think, an 80,000 hour battery life, which is something ridiculous. Yeah, um, that's a lot more than my EOTech too. So yeah. I don't leave this thing all the time and I'm, I don't know if you do. Do you leave yours on all the time? This is, it's shake to wake. So okay, gotcha. if I set it down for long enough, it'll just turn off and then when I pick it up, it's automatically on and that's exactly what I need it for. So I think at the end of the day, all these rifles are really great options, but it really comes down to what works best for you, which is why we say number one is the rifle that you build for yourself. Whether you're taking a rifle such as a POF Renegade and you know putting your own accessories onto it like what we did here, um, you're taking a, a base model Colt M4 and kind of just leaving it as is, if that's what works best for you, absolutely that's what you should do. Um, Drew, would you have anything to add to that? or? No, I, I think the main thing is just find what the purpose for your rifle is and just go for it. This has been TJ. And Drew. And we want to thank you for spending some time with us going over some of these rifles. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to let, uh, let us know in the comment section. And also, what else do we have going on? We've got a raffle. So right now we're going through our June raffle and it is a Colt M4 carbine, the one that you have seen here. Awesome entry level rifle, or even if it's not your first rifle, just something you want to have fun with. Definitely something that's great for a patrol car as well. Plus we got a Glock 45 down in that cabinet, which I will pop up on the screen. That is also a part of the raffle and our Twisted T-Can Cannon, which you can throw right on here. And if you are over 21, we will gift you some Twisted Tees. It is the ATF yeah. two of three package. Alcohol and firearms. All right, so, guys, so if you're interested in this, go ahead and click the link in our bio and we can get you entered to win our uh, Colt M4. Or if you wanna get anything that's on this table, minus this and that. We can include some links. We can include some links. Perfect. These we will include links for. All right, y'all, have a good one.